بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله I'm in great pleasure to be here in Amman, Jordan and to thank the Royal Botanic Garden in Jordan the founder Princess Basma, the director Tariq and the staff for the invitation and hospitality and to do a lot of work on conservation of nature to represent the Palestinian uh, case of nature, we face a lot of difficulties, as you may realize, due to many uh, uh, actions. But I will try to focus on conservation of nature uh, in the state uh, and in the case of Al Quds University, where I work. As you know, uh, we are we belong to this part of the world in the Middle East. We are, the historic Palestine is 20,000 square meter, but the West Bank and Gaza, they are not more than 6,000 kilometers square. Jordan, our close neighbors, and the largest borders with the Palestine, and the West, with the West Bank, this, the red uh, close to the Dead Sea is the West Bank. Gaza on the Mediterranean uh, near Egypt. Uh, to talk about the ecosystem diversity in Palestine, historic Palestine, uh, uh, of course there are at least five ecosystems, the Mediterranean coastal area, the mid mountains with the western slopes, the desert uh, Najaf and eastern slopes, the, which is the transitional uh, ecosystem from the Mediterranean to the Jordan Valley desert-like uh, climate or uh, environment. Uh, in the West Bank, they are characterized by five regions or four regions as outlined, but we, uh, the green area in the historic Palestine may be indicated, but most of it also uh, it is a desert. The natural resources that we are aware of them is the water, rocks, and solar energy in the Middle East and in Palestine, but I will my attention on the, the presentation on biodiversity as a natural resource. Biodiversity, it's uh, also divided to agrobiodiversity, uh, uh, and which includes the animal and the plant parts of the biodiversity, and they are the mainly food uh, uh, elements for the food security. The economy of biodiversity as we focus and give attention in Palestine, it's the ecotourism, insect pollination for plant production, natural products as food additives or food flavors or coloring, uh, especially the herbs and the aromatic plants and the medicinal plants. And we do also the biocontrol of uh, using the natural enemy. We focus on using either insects or fungi uh, isolated from the uh, soil to counteract or to fight other pathogens. Uh, the biofuel from the biomass, the micropropagation, we do a lot of mass production uh, for plantlets, especially for reforestation and uh, of course, the greenhouses in the Jordan Valley, mainly, uh, we uh, give attention and we produce a lot of vegetables. The eco actions uh, and initiatives related to this uh, meeting and symposium, uh, we consider where I live, for example, in Hebron area, where I live in a village town, and we are trying to make the life sustainable and use the natural resources and ways to recover and to reconstruct uh, nature. Uh, also, at the University, where I did or we established the botanic gardens and the other uh, natural uh, cons uh, concern, uh, to conserve nature, also uh, we try our best. One example is we feed the wastewater of the university to irrigate the gardens in the university. Eco park, botanic gardens, of course, are very important. Natural reserves, eco restoration, it now comes to, to the front, and education and the public. Education, we use our students, either undergraduates, postgraduates, and even the school 
students to increase the environmental awareness. The activities that uh, we are practicing, and it's not only in Palestine, but uh, everywhere, uh, we start the hydroponic agriculture. Uh, for even for, for example, the animal feed. We uh, grow the barley now in hydroponic cultures as animal feed, which will help to as the feed for the livestock. Grafting, cultivation of herbs and aromatic plants, animal farm feed, agro nurseries, the Ministry of Agriculture, the Palestinian Ministry, they have more than five nurseries growing plant lets uh, for three of the trees to reforestation in the area we managed to reach. Uh, and uh, the palm dates in the Jordan Valley, it's now increasing by time. Recycling of agro waste, collection of seeds from the wild, which now we are trying to increase the activity. The flora that we uh, try to focus uh, and mainly found in the Palestinian flora, we have about, in historic Palestine, about 2,700 plant species. Uh, the most famous families, Labiati, Compositi, Ambiliferia, and Leguminaceae, uh, uh, which are wild or cultivated, we, or the Palestinian farmers, and even the villagers, they uh, use to harvest directly from nature, especially thyme, sage, and other herbs. And, but we should conserve nature and to invest in nature in a rational way. The industry that are getting benefits from the uh, biodiversity, either food, pharmacy, or pharmaceutical factories, healthy products, uh, physiotherapy and the biopesticides now increasing worldwide to be extracted from uh, natural biodiversity. The natural uh, products, uh, as an example, which now now that 30% of the farm medicines as pharmaceutical products repair or originated from plants, which give attention and importance for the plant biodiversity. And if we use the nature to use or harvest uh, plants, they are purely organic, which are very important that there are no side effects and the world now uh, trying uh, to propagate and to enhance the bioorganic. The scientific background where I do lecturing on botany and natural products at my department, the Life Sciences, we give attention for, to compare or to distinguish between primary metabolism in plants and secondary metabolism. Uh, primary, it's every, in every plant, but the secondary, like essential oils, alkaloids, flavonoids, and phenols, these are the most active, bioactive compounds. Climate change or change of climate, this is not the issue, but we uh, suffer from many things related to uh, pollution and other uh, climatic effects. This is uh, one example of the natural area which is uh, eastern slopes of Hebron facing Jordan Valley and the Dead Sea where if you, piece, uh, if you say, uh, see on the top of the photo the stone quarries and stone cutting on the mountains while in the eastern slopes there are agriculture and rangeland but it affects. I will show maybe one picture on this. Uh, this is uh, stone crushing uh, for streets and buildings and uh, it makes a lot of pollution. Honestly, this is the Palestinian uh, activities. This is a stone quarry where uh, stones are excavated or taken and cut down to up 20 meters or even more. And uh, it is a special private investment. They don't mind, honestly, they don't mind how to restore and even they ignore this issue. But this is a case near 
But one example which we managed to do is restoration of a stone quarry site near where I live. Uh, my house on the top over there. So we managed through NGO to restore and to start a garden in the stone quarry, this site about 5,000 uh, square meter, and to build this building uh, as a museum, natural museum, to encourage the local uh, community and at local level and national level at least now. The other challenge is we are facing its occupation. This, this is a natural area east of Jerusalem. This is Ma'ali al uh, toward the Dead Sea, the Sea and Jordan Valley. Uh, the settlements is the real uh, danger uh, that facing the nature, nature in Palestine and they confiscate the land uh, by force, which we could do nothing uh, in protection, although we have to do uh, a lot of things. This is the separation wall near Jerusalem, in Bethlehem area. The height of this wall about 8 to 10 meters. The world in, or in uh, Germany, they put down Berlin wall while they are here building walls which we consider it as a racist separation war. And the olives, this is the most important, are under siege. And sometimes they stop or prevent the Palestinian farmers to reach their uh, fields, and they sometimes uproot the trees. This is where my university, the separation wall is in front of the university. This is in east of, near, uh, east of Jerusalem. We are uh, only five kilometers from the old city and the separation wall you can see uh, it's coming in front of the university just the street separating from it. Uh, this is another disaster I consider it or damage where they uh, excavate exactly, exactly, or degrade the whole mountain looking for archaeological Israeli historic, what they call it. Uh, and this mountain, it's uh, 3D near Bethlehem, south of Jerusalem. In history, in Roman history, it was maybe artificially built, uh, but it, you know, through time it came as natural site. And they observed the holy place in Jerusalem at that time, where Al Aqsa most now. Uh, is uh, present. They, what they do, the Israelis, they are trying to find Jewish archaeological remains to prove which they did never find anything. But this is a complete degradation of the mountain uh, that uh, uh, it happened. The Palestinian people are very friendly to nature. We use the traditional herbs for many uh, uses, either uh, uh, like soft drinks, flavors of food, folk uh, the folkloric herbal medicine is part of the Arab uh, uh, medicine or herbal medicine, and we feel more friendly more than the others. And the research we are trying to do at the university is not only at al Quds and in cooperation with Jordan, Jordanian universities and the Arab region, we are trying to do more work. The human life of human style to live in nature, as we witnessed in Wadi Ram when we visited, this is a Bedouin site near Jerusalem, but this is uh, the Israeli occupation. They force them to move or to live uh, in places where they don't like. Although the Bedouin life is uh, in harmony with the nature, this happened that uh, because uh, due to restrictions, the solar energy harvest is quite a good example in this area, uh, where the light, the streets are lighted by solar energy, which is good example, and I feel it's more friendly than electrical uh, power. The propagation through national nurseries, this belongs to the Ministry of Agriculture, uh, to, re to produce plants for uh, forests and for the local 
towns and villages and cities. To talk a little bit about my case study, the Al-Quds University Botanic Garden, uh, in fact, uh, uh, the plant which we take it as a symbol, we haven't yet pro, uh, uh, take it in uh, account, it's a poop which is the Palestinian, Jordanian, Arab uh, uh, food edible plant, which is uh, famous with the spines, this plant on the uh, right hand side. But uh, this is uh, very important because it comes with the uh, abbreviation of the University uh, Gardens. We published this poster in cooperation with BGCI and Drupal, and I will tell you a little bit about it. This is one site we developed inside the university campus. The uh, gardens are located within the campus. We don't have plenty of land to go everywhere, but we decide to start here. This is in front of the Faculty of Arts, where it was uh, placed uh, sometimes for waste, unfortunately. But when we decided in 2007 to start, we brought these rocks from the stone quarries I showed, and we used them for uh, construction and landscaping of the garden. And uh, uh, this is after maybe five, six years, uh, the garden, uh, and the landscaping of the garden inside the university. And this also comes on the top of the mountains, five kilometers from the old city of Jerusalem, facing the Dead Sea and Jordan Valley. We use the rocks cut in the stone quarries as seeds, which, of course, there was cooperation between the university and the, la the stone miners it's, uh, they are waste and rubbish, so they are happy to bring us or to give us these uh, materials and drugs and the students and the stuff they are using, it, uh, they are happy. This is an uh, upper view in the early stages of the garden. At, uh, on, on the right or left hand side, there is a wood hall that we managed to do it, I will show it. But uh, we introduced in the garden about 20 uh, native Palestinian plants. Uh, if we go back here, for example, you will see Zisiphus, Karu, and uh, Rotima, and cactus plants, although we introduced some of the herbs uh, like Artemisia and other plants. This is the wood uh, hall with also the rocks built in. And uh, honestly, that the idea of the rock garden, I took it from you when I was in for study and uh, research at, uh, during my study, PhD. So we use the rocks and the, this hall and we are planning to put uh, a big, uh, screen for uh, exhibiting or showing the diversity uh, for the students and visitors. This is the gate, almost the same gate with you, uh, using the rocks uh, entering or as entrance to the garden. This is the Andalusia garden. The Andalusia garden, we did it also in other parts. Uh, on the right hand side, it's faculty of medicine. The yard, about 3,000 square meter in front of the faculty of science and technology where I work and it was playground yard. In 2008, we, after we uh, managed with the uh, FUNSI, the Islamic Foundation and Medomed in Spain, we decided to, to establish this Andalusia garden. Uh, this is uh, after one year of plantation and design, but we use also the rocks or the plates from the Palestinian uh, stone factories. This is maybe after two, three, three, uh, three years after the Spanish uh, Andalusia uh, team came to our university and we decided how to put the water fountains and to make the symmetry uh, uh, as the Andalusia model garden. This is in more maybe after five years, uh, 2013 or so, 
and this is the Faculty of Science and Technology. If you see the, uh, on the right hand side, the separation hall continues. So it goes um, to separate the uh, university from the western uh, part of the old city. This is a new photo or picture of the Andalusia Garden. We use it for many activities, educational, graduation, ceremonies, and many activities. This is the fountain uh, inside the university, even social graduation and the families. This is honestly my family carrying the Palestinian flags. In, also in the garden we have an aquarium established by another project uh, run by another also doctor or scientist uh, focusing on the uh, growing uh, fishes and study the aquatic environment uh, there. At local town where I live in Hebron area, eastern slopes, uh, we managed to do with community. I also established uh, an NGO and with the local teachers, uh, graduates and even students, we managed to do this uh, natural uh, museum uh, for this. This is another natural heritage site uh, uh, which need attention and restoration near Nablus, Sebastia. Uh, with Roman theater like in Amman here and it's everywhere in the region but this needs a lot of work and attention and the diversity there, the, it's very rich. This is the Hisham Palace in Jericho, it's famous palace uh, and it's also degraded or uh, destroyed by earthquake during history but it's very attractive with at least 2,000 uh, 2, square meter, uh, but it attracts a lot of visitors uh, at national and even international uh, level. This is another uh, natural wadi near between Jerusalem and Jericho, going down to the Jericho and Dead Sea, uh, with church, church and cathedral there. It's built. Uh, for long ages, I don't know how long, but the natural biodiversity is quite, quite attracting and with the streams, water stream, and attract also visitors. Through Rafford Foundation, when I got the, the, uh, this uh, uh, project uh, in, nine, in 2009, I managed to do a bio, small biodiversity garden uh, in Benin, where I live, eastern slopes to Dead Sea, and we, uh, are, or I did, you know, this uh, landscaping with introduction and transplanting of wild aromatic plants like uh, Artemisia, Salvia Dominica, uh, to conserve and to use them. This is the garden, the same garden, the biodiversity garden. You can see the comparison between the landscape and the open area. Uh, of the garden. These are aromatic plants of sage and thyme, which uh, uh, harvested for local use. For uh, student uh, visits, uh, postgraduates or undergraduates and the nursery uh, and how to enhance. To, uh, this year, uh, spring season, it's uh, marvelous in terms of diversity of flowers. We witness it through our tour to Petra, Wadiram, and the Dead Sea here in Jordan, but it's also in the West Bank. It's uh, very uh, attractive and diverse. This is, by the way, a place of agricultural station since the British mandate. And when Jordan also ruled there, it was part, the West Bank part of the, of the Hashmiya Kingdom. Uh, it was and is still active, but we look to develop more. And this is one of the walls, I think built since the British time, where they are uh, using them as for landscaping and terraces to grow plants and the trees. And it needs now more work. 
I usually take my colleagues, friends, and students to nature. This is also to the eastern slopes of Hebron, and study, collect plants and seeds from nature. This is also another park. Uh, we are distinguished between parks and gardens. Also, another field trip uh, to a park belongs to local uh, authority in uh, Hebron area. Trips also grazing this season it's very rich in the western this is on uh, in the eastern slopes in near Jericho uh, over grazing one colleague here mentioned it is uh, it's a problem challenging biodiversity these are the wadis or valleys going down to the Dead Sea it's almost like what I see like Petra when we walk through and this, uh, these valleys or wadis go directly to the Dead Sea with water, of course, and vegetation, natural vegetation and diversity, but uh, a lot of attractions go. This is the open area of the eastern slopes where I live. Uh, if you see here, there is a landscape or uh, park where I established the biodiversity project with Rapal and used for propagation and solar harvesting and uh, a lot of activities there. But this is open area almost uh, to the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea, it's the, red, the blue uh, water there down and the far uh, mountains are the Jordanian mountains. This is the Dead Sea when we stand on the, uh, on the mountains looking down to the Dead Sea. The herbal tea, this is a famous Artemisia sheep uh, herbal tea, tea, which we enjoy it and good for stomach and digestion. This is what I usually, and I grow them, by the way, in my home garden now, and in the rock garden uh, of al -Quds University. Okay, I don't like to go in deep for these, but the flavors of aromatic plants are quite uh, diverse. The essential oils are used for aromatherapy. Olive oil is famous in, in the region in Palestine as well. And we produce and export uh, olive oil. This is the natural vegetation this spring in the eastern slopes of Hebron. And we start because we, we don't find to find solutions or investment in nature in the university to find everything. So we are a group of scientists established this new business in Abertuna, Palestine to extract the essential oils and to produce uh, ointments and creams using the Palestinian aromatic flora. Okay. Uh, so this is, I hope it will work and we are trying to produce horrid land trademarks. Okay, this is intensive agriculture, but just to mention that is, uh, we are running now a project with the POW uh, focusing on legumes of Palestine as for the feed for the animal stock. These are just examples. Uh, management also is very important. Uh, the future plan of uh, Al Quds University Botanic Garden, we are trying to develop the gardens because it needs more work. We are trying to establish chemical, biochemical, botanical lab, seed bank, and herbarium. We already have, but it needs a lot of work. Uh, this is, uh, I mentioned on that, but we have another project with uh, support from the EU, uh, in, uh, with link uh, Italian universities, Belgium, and Al Quds University. We are choosing, or we chose, eight sites in the West Bank uh, only to monitor, to survey biodiversity. This is one meeting in nature with the, this project. This is my home garden where I propagate other plants like grapevine. This view near Jerusalem natural site. And this is Jerusalem. The dome of the rock, it's, in itself, it's a garden. The yard of Al-Aqsa and the Dome of the Rock, about 200,000 meters square, full with olives, pines, conifers, 
But unfortunately, it needs more work to, done, to be done. This is the Andalusia, and I welcome you all to visit, and thank you for it.